this past week so I decided to hit reset, take a productive day and just get back into everything and acknowledge that hey it's okay take a break take a breath and then get back into it and let's just get it done good morning everyone it's Dree welcome back it's the first time I've spoken since I've woken up. Happy weekend. It's finally the weekend. I know that this season going into December and the end of November is usually very stressful, anxious, especially if you're in university or any other type of education and you have a lot of assignments to do at the end of term. So today I wanted to take a guilt-free self-care day, do a little me time, and take care of myself and my mental health. On the agenda for today is I'm going to go get my free bubble tea. Buy eight, get one free, and I've finally bought a. I don't have a problem. I'm gonna pick up a prescription from the pharmacy as well as an exam care package that my university is providing. I had to fill out a form and I have a very specific time I have to go because of COVID. Before all of that, I am actually going to do my makeup, put on a nice outfit because you know, once you look good on the outside, you feel better on the inside. Then I'm going to take my dogs for a walk. They didn't hear that, thank God. And then we are just gonna go on with the day. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the dogs for a walk. So this I know it's really important and I think being active, even in a simple way, is, is really significant. So this is something easy, pain-free that I have to do anyways and that I'd like to do. So let's get ready before someone gets too excited. Okay, so the dogs have been walked and are tired and have bones, so I am going to head out to the pharmacy, grab what I need, and then go get my exam care package and my free bubble tea and just bask in my own glory. As you can see, it has started to rain. I wanted to go for a nice little walk, but it's not very enjoyable, so I'm just gonna walk back home. And then I can just chill with the dogs and do some coursework. Having a self-care hour or day on the weekend is crucially important, especially during COVID, and even more when it's exam season, which it pretty much is now. I have my last two classes on Monday and Tuesday. It's crazy. And then I've done all my classes and I only have one exam. Instead of exams for my other classes, I only have major assignments that would take place of that percentage for the exam, which is very stressful. It's like a work-life balance, especially in North America and Western cultures. The idea of if you're not doing work, you're not being productive. In order to be productive, you have to have some sense of mental clarity and taking a self-care day or an hour or morning or whatever is really important not only for your mental health but in order for you to focus more especially in therapy i've learned a lot of these things which has taken me a number of years to start actively um cognitively remembering to do and acknowledging when i do it reflecting and recognizing hey you're doing this this is really good or this is not really working why is it not working and how can we fix it is a really good way of providing self-care for yourself in terms of being more productive. Does that make sense? I don't know. So I decided to hit reset, take a productive day, and just get back into everything and acknowledge that, hey, it's okay. Take a break, take a breath, and then get back into it, and let's just get it done. I'm so looking forward to 
the winter break because our university is giving us an extra week for mental health and just regain some sanity. So needless to say, it's gonna be really nice to have that break and looking forward to that and setting some like goals and activities that you want to do during that break safely I might add I think is a good way of motivating yourself to get to the end of the semester or the end of the work year the end of 2020 for me I really want to get into baking more I have a whole list of recipes and things I want to try and activities I want to do one of them is learning how to make this so I got this from my local international imports grocery it's a local community establishment which I think is significantly important to support during COVID if I don't want to go out which happens a lot I want to learn how to make my own I know how to make matcha so it shouldn't be that hard I have strawberries frozen ones I might add, and I have boba. I just need to learn how to put it all together coherently and consume. I got this exam care package in a very lucrative brown paper bag. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's a bamboo toothbrush. That's really cool. I feel like traveling. That's if I do want to travel with. Hi, you want to come on? Hi, you want to see what's in it? Next is popcorn. Hi, okay, next is some gum. Ooh. Vitamin C, raspberry, energy, in the water stuff, powder, that's the word. Um, ooh, got some Sour Patch Kids, made good granola chip granola berries. I really wanted to try these, so this is actually really good. <gasps> oh, it's tea. Black cherry berry, four bags of tea. I know, your breathing is so heavy. A package of hot cocoa, Brookside blood orange and peach. This stuff's so good. Oh, Raisin Mentos. Since I am Dutch, this is very important to me, but I've never tried the Raisin one, so that's awesome. Sticky notes, why not? I use so many sticky notes when I study. I like put a timeline on my wall. Pen, obviously. Highlighter. Bubble wrap. Two cards, which I always use to study terminology, which I will be doing for my English exam. Oh, it's a little fidgety thing, which is good for me because I fidget a lot. It's one of those slinky things, but it has a marble in it. There's a fucking condom. Who's gonna be having sex when they're trying to study for finals? Oh, and on top of that, they gave us, oh, so generous, a packet of lube. Do I look like someone who needs that? Am I going to enjoy this beautiful jerk? I just remembered that the bubble tea was the first thing that I consumed all day and I forgot to eat breakfast and it's around 11.30 now so I'm gonna have some brunch as in the stew that I made a couple nights ago and made a lot extra so I didn't have to worry about cooking. Since it is a self-care day I'm gonna eat in bed with a towel and my eating desk. I made this stew with just random things I had in my pantry. I had like a cup of chicken noodle soup, some rice, corn, carrots beans I put in here and then I just put some like extra spices and stock in there and it's really good it doesn't look super appetizing but it's actually really good and super filling too I always have like a love-hate relationship with food so this is actually something that I know is good enjoyable and I made it so it makes it even more delicious after I finish eating I'm gonna edit some of this video because I want to get it out today which is Saturday so like the same day type of thing. I've been super motivated with starting to create video content again which I don't know if it's a good thing or not because it's almost exam season and I don't want to be distracted but this is keeping me motivated so I don't really know we'll see how it goes. I've been getting a lot of feedback from my friends who are saying oh we're so excited you're back and really enjoying your videos which is good because I love to just document about humanity and things. Yeah document humanity eating stew. Okay, so I've just spent two hours editing and like my face is so red. I've just completely overheated while I was editing this video. I'm so hungry now. I'm just gonna make something to eat. All she wanted was a bowl of pasta without anybody looking at her. So I asked the baby what's the matter with that.
Today was a good day of self-care and self-recovery. Not everything I did today was very intriguing and interesting, like editing for two and a half hours, and then I'm gonna edit some more, which is fine because I have a great interest in it. Creatively, it fulfills me, so I don't really see it as a chore. I see it as an enjoyable activity. Let me know what you do for self-care down below and maybe I'll try some of them out. Not everything works for everyone, but just having a day to recuperate before a stressful week should not be something to feel guilty about. I took the whole day. Sometimes you can take the morning, the afternoon, the evening, or an hour. You get the point. The rest of the night for me is going to include editing in my bed because I'm not going to be sitting here. I want to be comfortable. I feel very chill and relaxed. Make sure to take your medication, drink some water, and enjoy your sleep. Like this video if you like it. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe while you're here to see more daily dreamy and I will see you guys next time. Bye.